Hi there everyone, so today I wanted to talk about um, becoming an artist because I know there's so many of you out there that really really love art and really want to do it um, as a career but I'm not sure just how to get started. So today I wanted to talk about how I became an artist and how you can as well. I think now with the internet and the way social media is, is that everybody has a profile. It's really easy, it's like the easiest time ever to become an artist because you don't have to get gallery representation, you don't have to pay for advertising, you can literally just put your work out there and people will, will respond to it. And that's how I got started. Um, I already had an Instagram profile and I was really into a bit of photography as well. But I just became really inspired by seeing other people um, sell their artwork online and I thought I want to do that and so I just started posting my work on my Instagram profile and then people just really responded to, to it and really liked it and that kind of spurred me on to then make more and more and more so then I started uh, making a Twitter profile, I made a Facebook page and I did get gallery representation um, which was a real benefit and I came across that through Twitter. So really, it all started with social media because without that, no one would even know I exist. So I would start off by setting up in maybe probably either a Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram. If you don't think that you can update all three of those every single day, then maybe just stick to one that you know that you can um, update every day so I'd maybe stay focused but then I think once you've done the hard work of taking a photo and you know showing your work you may as well just post it on whatever you can. Another thing I'd say is that I would prepare for it to take a few years to get started. I would say it probably takes about two years to get it to the point where you're happy with. Another thing I'd say is always be authentic so you, know, you can get inspiration from other people but just try not to copy their work and then um, I think you can see someone else's style so the way they've done the brush marks and you can sort of study their artwork but just as long as you don't pass it off as your own then that will be fine. I think the only things that you need to start your art career is to be creating work on a regular basis and to show it on some sort of social media whichever you decide is the best and to have an email in your profile or bio where people can contact you. I think that is sort of the bare sort of framework that you can then build on and build on. And I think you can actually get quite far with just those couple of things. So another tip I would give is on social media, try and reply to every comment that you get, um, good or bad. So you really want to build up um, a friendship between all your followers um, and the people that support you because I know personally, if it wasn't for the people that support me like on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook every day, then I probably wouldn't still be doing it because the people are so, so kind and when I have down moments about my art and I'm feeling really, really down about it, I just look through the comments that everyone said and it makes me so happy and it makes me feel so loved and it's really, really nice. So, so yeah, always try and respond to your followers if you can. If you have time. Another thing that I get asked quite a lot is, is Etsy worth it and what's it like um, in comparison to all the other sort of selling websites. So I would definitely suggest Etsy for anybody that's trying to sell their artwork. Um, the reason being is because it's got its own marketplace so it doesn't rely on you sending people to your products. People can just search it, random people that have never heard of you before can search in Etsy and come across your product and that's why I think it's much better than a lot of the other sort of things out there. Also on that point of Etsy, I don't know if you've heard of something called SEO, it basically stands for Search Engine Optimization. and I know that's really boring <laughs> but unfortunately you do have to learn some of the boring bits about stuff like that, about the internet. Um, so I would just google SEO and try and find out as much as you can about it because it really makes a difference in being found at Etsy and in turn selling paintings. Another thing that I just want to really really quickly mention is charging prices for your artwork. So I remember the first artwork that I ever sold 
I sold it for like £10 <laughs> and although at the time I was so happy and I was screaming, I was so excited, I, I quickly found out that you can't make a career out of art if you're going to charge silly silly prices. The only person that can make your artwork seem valuable is you, so if you value it then you won't charge too little for it. Obviously when you're first starting out you can't charge ridiculous prices um, because you haven't got the following or it just seems a little bit unfair anyway. But if you think about the hourly rate that you would normally get paid, then just time, times that by the amount of hours that you spent on the artwork. And don't forget to include you know, the time that you spend photographing the art, the time you spend putting it on Etsy, the time you spend packaging the artwork up. All that kind of thing all needs to come into it because you won't be able to run a business and keep going for long and keep buying art materials if you, if you charge too low. So something that you have to ask yourself as well is there are two types of artists. Um, so you either are going to paint what other people want you to paint and what makes money and you'll probably sell so much and you stick to that same style and don't really deviate from it and that is going to make more money or the second one you paint what makes you happy so yeah you can do a, a bit of both but I think I mean personally I can't stick to one style I can't stick to the same thing over and over again because that takes the personal joy out of it for me and then I think well what's the point of doing this at all um, so if you found something that you really love to paint over and over again, that's great, go with it, you know, because you've got to build a brand that people can recognise you and, and see a piece of art and think, oh yeah, that's her artwork straight away. Um, but I think the people that sort of want to experiment a little bit more and not really sure what they want to do yet, which is like me, <laughs> every time I think I've found um, sort of my signature look, then it just changes and turns on its head. Um, but I think that's part of being an artist. I think that's part of being excitable and changing it up and staying authentic. You've got to work out which one is for you. If your number one focus is to make money, then you just find a style that people seem to like and I would suggest to just make hundreds of that same sort of one with different changes um, and it will really create a brand that people can recognise you by. If you're like me and get bored very quickly and want to do different things all the time then that's fine and that's amazing and trust yourself and enjoy the journey but just don't expect to make as much money. Um, and to me that's fine because I think if it, even if it takes a little longer to get where I want to be at least I have enjoyed every single artwork I've ever made and it's so authentic and it's all so close to my heart and I think that's what's important about art really so I think there's a difference between a piece of art and a painting I would definitely say the social media presence make it personal as well but not too personal you know, people don't want to see loads of pictures of your pets. They don't love you like you love them. <laughs> oh, that was the post. Oh, that scared me. Um, people like to see behind the scenes shots on your social media, that's another thing. Um, but don't make it too personal. You know, I say make probably 85% of your feed art based. So I, that's all I can think of at the moment. So one thing I just want to say before you start your art journey or carry on with your art journey is don't ever be afraid to show the real you. People will only love you for it. For the beginning it can be difficult to see how your friends and family will react and for me that was the most scary thing. Um, but they all really support me now and I couldn't ask for better friends and family because they, they really believe in it and they believe in me as well. So you've got to just go for it and you'll find that the people that love you will support you. Let me know how you get on. I really want to know what stage you're at in your art career. <laughs> um, so please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, message me on Instagram, Twitter or on my Facebook page. And make sure you subscribe because I've got plenty more videos coming. 
um, all about similar things, all about art, I'm going to do an art room tour, I'm going to do more about the materials that I use, so please subscribe so you can see all the, the wonderful videos to come.